Alright guys, in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to take some old arrows and fire them from a slingshot. And I saw a video about this by Crazy Russian Hacker, but my problem with it was if you're really, really in a survival situation, you wouldn't have any of that stuff like rubber bands and uh, a key ring and all kind of, and like perfect arrows and all that. So I decided to go a little more realistic. These are just old broken arrows. You know, this one's missing fletching, both of the knocks are broken off. Tips are rusted. Uh, shafts are not the best. Something you'd find in the woods. Now, it's really easy to make a sling bow. You don't need all the stuff that they had. You literally just need either a piece of string, or if you buy this Black Widow, it actually comes with this as what holds it in. You just want to take it, you know, put it across the limbs, and you'll roll it down a little bit. Just about right there. That's actually it. Now you're gonna take an arrow. You're gonna rest the arrow on that. Okay, I gotta stand up now. Rest the arrow, or well, you know, put the arrow's knock in the pouch and pinch it. Rest the arrow right here. Do that one more time. That's just a cardboard box because the Black Widow is not the most powerful. So uh, I'm not slinging these things at 75,000 feet per second. So, but look, you just rest it right on top. Just like a longbow rest. Now, you don't have any sights or anything, so it's all up to you on how accurate you can be with it. As you can see, I'm not the best. But it's plenty powerful enough. Went through this box twice. I've been shooting this thing quite a bit, actually, so. I'm aware of its power. So we're going to move the box in just a little bit more. I'm going to count this off real quick. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen paces away. So this is about the distance you could probably get a pheasant deer or something. We're gonna say deer because the kill size of a deer is about the size of that box, I'd say. A little bigger is the box is a little bigger, but hey. And that shot was short. That shot was very short. Like I said, you gotta get used to this. It's it's really different. Uh oh. Disasters in paradise. <laughs> One moment. Look, and if it falls off, all you gotta do is put it back on. I had a little bit too low on the limbs, that's why. You don't want it over the top. So it's got an uneven angle on it, but you do want it kind of close to the top like that. And you don't really apply much downward pressure onto the, to the actual rest. You just set the arrow on it. Well... My first shot definitely was a big fat fail, but the second shot did hit it, just a little bit low. There's some squirrels that are like killing each other. Alright, so I'm just going to keep doing a couple more shots.
So, one thing I gotta quickly stress is this thing is not a toy. Uh, you know, I'm not responsible if y'all get hurt on these. <laughs> I'm not saying you should make one, clearly. But they're not a toy if you do make one, be careful with it. Because they are pretty powerful. So hopefully, this video will help you guys either in a survival situation or just to get rid of some old broken arrows and put them to use. That's about all for the sling bow. See ya.